Hello and welcome to the 47th video in this series for beginners programming in C. So the last video, you remember we had this little program which I've got here, I've now called the file ch47.c and we read in the data from text.dat.dat. So I'm doing, just going to take, change this back to .txt, leave it on read and I want to show you another way of reading in. Here we've got this fgets, so where we get a string and read it into our input array and then obviously that uh, returns each line uh, at a time because it, uh, it gets a string up to an end of file or up to a new line character or end of line. What we can do though is it's another way of reading things in from a file and often very useful when you've got say a settings file where you start comment lines say with a hash or something like that is to read the information in from the file character by character. So I'm just going to delete this while out now I'm going to delete this input out and the function we're going to use, we're going to use something called fgetc so file get character. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new character called single and this is what we're going to read in as our character. And now I'm going to put something slightly more complicated I think than I've previously done in uh, while statements but before I do that, let's show how the fgetc works. To get a character from the file, the first character, I would say that single equals fget, oops, fgetc, and then I would simply specify the file, so pointer to file, like so. And that would get me the first character in the file. And now if I go down to just to print f, and let's just put um, single like this and we'll just print the character using our placeholder like so and single. Let's just run this program and have a look what's going on before we go any further. So I'll just bring over the terminal here and let's just compile this and run and it's giving us the H which is the first line obviously of our text.text .text, if you can remember the text in there. Okay, so now that we've read a single character in, we're going to use a while loop like we do with fget s or if I'll get string, but instead of um, saying while we've got something returned, we need to know whether we've hit the end of the file or not. Now what singles, what fget c is actually returning is basically a number from 0 to 255, so it's just the, the character in the form of an integer, but we can store it as a car type and then print it out as a car, because as you know characters are 0 to 255. So returning 0 will simply be the character 0. So we need to, or the character represented, sorry, by the integer 0, not the number 0. So it's not going to work saying whilst single is non-zero, we need to find some other way. And C provides something called EOF, so, which is written as so, end of file. And when this statement here, F get C, P to file, is equal to end of file, it means there's nothing else. So what we want to do is we want a while loop that says something like while single is not equal to end of file, get our characters and print our characters. And what we'll in fact do now is just uh, cut this printf statement and drop it in here because we'll be needing it. And I'm going to print off the characters. Okay, so that's the first step done. But now what we want to do is we want to replace this statement here because we actually want to set the value of single inside here. So the way we'll do this is to wrap it in brackets and actually put the, f the statement to get the character inside here, like so. So what we're saying is, the way this will execute now, this will say, first of all, execute what's inside these brackets here, so we'll get the next character, and then say, whilst that next character is not the end of the file, then print the character to the screen. So it looks a little bit complicated, and you'll often see this used in for and while loops, um, in C because it just shortens everything a little bit rather than having to first of all set single here and then go while well, single is not equal to end of file and then put another call at the end of the while loop just after the print statement again to here it saves duplicating the lines of code so I can delete that out now and just save this bring back in the terminal here compile and now run and now you can see that we've got hello, this is some text saved in a .txt file printed out. And what you'll notice is, is that we've also got the new line characters. 
if I just, if I put at the end of each character here a force new line in so we can see it character by character and just bring the terminal back you can see now that it's actually printed saved in a text file and it's also put printed a new line followed by a new line if you see what I mean so what what F -get C is actually doing is reading in also the new line characters as well into our single character so that is the end of this video it's just a short one but it's just to show you the other way of reading information in from a file character by character which as I said is often useful when you're reading settings in or something like this um, in the program uh, from a file for the program okay then so that's it for this video hope everything's been relatively clear and see you in the next one